YouTube, what's up, man? I am. I'm here real quick. I just want to give you this quick video, um, on a little advice on on what to do for you part-time uh, realtors. So I, I'm a part-time realtor still. Um, I I scheduled myself to stay with my full-time job until uh, July of next year, which would be 2019. That'll be two years and doing real estate part-time. Uh, again, let's recap. For the first year, it was really hard for me um, to get any clients because I was brand new and then still being uh, full-time uh, employed with the federal government. Man, I'll tell you what, that thing, it kicked my butt something serious. But this second year, it's still rough, but it's a little easier because now I've networked myself. Um, I created my brand. I created my myself um, to be you know, here for the clients. Uh, I actually love what I do. I enjoy it. And I love it so much that I still want to continue doing it and actually become full-time. Um, so I just want to make this video for you guys that are doing it part-time. Uh, for the full-time people, this is awesome too. Um, but I'm just not there yet. So I will do a video once I become full-time. But the biggest piece of advice that I would say is, um, one, you got to figure out your schedule. Because for me, as a full-time employee, I'm a federal employee. I work uh, 7.30 to 4 o'clock, so I, I know what my schedule is going to be Monday through Friday, so that that part for me is lucky. Um, but that makes it difficult, too, because I do have some people, like my client today, he actually hit me up and was saying, hey, you know, I'm off today, can I go look at some houses? Unfortunately, I'm working until 4 o'clock, so I can't go look at anything, but um, you can either choose to take the time off if your job allows for that, or you can just wait until after four o'clock. So you'll just schedule it shortly. So you're going to the schedule time or showing time or text the person or email. However they say in the MLS, just, just contact the person that way. Uh, for this one, um, this example, I actually had to text the person and, and see what time I can check it out. So I text them and say, hey, can I just check it out at 445, five o'clock? And the reason why I do that is because distance wise, it actually takes me uh, probably 30 to 45 minutes depending on what the traffic's going to be and then every once in a while it may take a little bit longer it'll take about an hour but um i schedule it that way but just schedule the things around your your actual full-time job because your full-time job is what's paying for your bills so you don't want to go and just take off and let that go um you still want to have that be your steady stream of income but you still want to position yourself in the real estate market to be able to have that take over and be your full-time job. So once that becomes your full-time job, um, you're going to transition from whatever job you had prior to having real estate be your full-time. It's no longer going to be something that you have to struggle with. Um, it's just going to come natural to you because you've been doing it for so long. But yeah, that's just my, my biggest piece of advice. A lot of the, the documents and apps and whatever else you need to access and, and schedule things or look at homes or whatever the case may be, do comps. You can get a lot of that stuff right on your phone. So if you have an iPhone, go into the iTunes and uh, download it. If you have a Samsung, go into their uh, store, their app store, and just download it. A lot of the stuff is there for you, and it just makes life so much easier, man. I just go on to uh, the MLS, RPR, um, just whatever. I have a Berkshire uh, app. Um, what else do I have? I don't even know. I go into maps. I go into the, the Google map quest, like all of these things um, to map out the locations that I need. So, man, it's, this is just a little piece of advice that I can give. Hopefully I can make another video for you guys today um, going through the homes and, and, and seeing something today. But hey, man, like always, man, I love y'all, man. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Is this your first time watching? I got allergies right now, sorry. <laughs> but first time watching, man, you definitely got to subscribe because I want to do more content, man. I just want to help people. And then once you get into business, you should you should help people too, man. It's, it's something that's fun. It's something that's great. But as always, man, follow up. See my next video, man. I love y'all. Deuces.